Hey, hey, it's Vonce coming at you with a new tutorial. Actually, it's old. I did it nine years ago on my channel, but the video quality was bad. So I decided to do it again but since it's summer and this is the thing to wear in the summer or on vacations. And it is the barefoot sandal. These are so cool. They're good to wear with open sandals. It's open at the top or maybe uh, flip-flop things of that nature. So get ready to do this tutorial with me. Supplies needed, you will need stretch cord. I like the seven millimeter. This one is the best to me, it's the perfect amount of stretch. If you double it, it passes through most beads easily enough. It lasts a long time. I made this bracelet with that stretch cord a couple of years ago and it's still going strong. I think it lasts the most. If you can't find seven millimeter, Try to get eight. Well, it's 0.7 or 0.8 millimeter. The 1.0 millimeter is too thick. And they have one, I believe, as a 0.5. And it's, it's too thin. It'll cut. It's, it's not comfortable. You also need a small pair of pliers, scissors, and or a crimping tool. Now, if you're using crimp beads, you need the tool. You really don't. You can use the pliers as well, but I like the tool. Or if you're just tying it on and not using any crimp beads, then just a pair of scissors will work fine. Of course, you'll need beads. Small beads, flat beads, focal beads, any of those are fine. This is what I call a focal bead. It's like the main bead. And I would suggest you guys get at least, can you see this? At least one's very small bead. The hole has to be big enough for both of the pieces of cord to go through together, but you want a small one because when you make a knot, this bead is going to butt up against the knot and you don't want it to slip. A bigger bead may slip off. So that's all you need, guys. Now let's get ready to get started. Uh oh, one more thing. You'll need the crimp beads. Duh, oops. Well, if you're using crimp beads, you'll need them. If you're just gonna tie it, then you don't need them, but I prefer them. Sometimes I tie it, but it's more difficult to tie it, so. Crimp beads are recommended. I already measured out my 25 inches of cord. And for my pattern, I'm going to use, I guess I'll make that my small bead. It's not that small, but it'll work for this particular barefoot sandal. So what you wanna do is make sure that you get like an inch and an inch and a half, maybe inch, inch or a half, an inch or an inch and a half of cord once you loop it and make a knot. Doesn't have to be an exact science, but this is the area that's gonna go around your second toe. So I'll measure mine is uh, maybe close to an inch and a half. That's That's close enough. Make a knot. Make it pretty tight. Now take your small, this is what I'm considering my small bead. It'll work. And you string both pieces of cord through. This is the thing about this particular bead. You have to make sure that the hole is big enough for both pieces of cord to pass through. You don't want it too big because otherwise, if this hole is too big, when, when it slides up, it'll slide past the knot and come off. So this is secure enough. Then I'm taking, this is my focal bead. It'll be the biggest bead that I use. And string that one through. This one's kind of tight, but it, it gets through. And there you go. Now for this pattern, particular pattern, I'm gonna separate my two cords and string you know what maybe i'll use this too i think i'll do this one as well since it's sitting here <laughs> why not you can always change your design as you go okay so open up your cord i'm gonna put let me see one two three four five six two three four five i'll do six on each side
When I did this nine years ago, I didn't need glasses. I have to wear my glasses now to do this. this that really, that really pisses me off because it, you know, with age, <laughs> that's what happens. And then I do a lot of sewing and I've just done a lot to strain my eyes over the years. So, hey, this is where I'm at. It's, I guess it's better to have them than, than not. Thank God we have something to help us see. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, I have the six on each side. And yours should be something, did I count that right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not one, two, three. Okay, I'm tripping. That was seven. I'm like, okay, I don't, that's not making sense. Okay, so we have your six on each side. Take your C bead, not your C bead, your crimp bead. I like to use the pretty small ones and put one on each side. Now, the reason why I like to do this, you don't have to, you can actually make a knot, a couple of knots really close to the edge. It's difficult to do trying to put it real close so you won't have any space in between. I like crimp beads better. The crimp bead, once you close it, it stops the beads from sliding. So for this step, this is why I said you can use pliers or a crimping tool. If you don't have a crimping tool, just take small pliers. I'll do one on each side so you can see. And you just smash it down and make it tight. And that'll stop it from sliding. Or if you have a crimping tool, it's a two-step process. You close it one way and then you close it the other. I think this one broke. It did. Sometimes these, these crimp beads are kind of a pain in the butt. But I still like them, so I use them. This one's really small. Okay, slide that up. With the crimping tool, there's two grooves. You use the first one to close it first. And then the one that's furthest away from you, you use that to close it again. So that's the first step. That's the second step. Okay, so as you can see, it's secure, nothing's going anywhere. That's what you want. Okay, I really don't want to stick my foot up in this. Okay, so what you do, hook the loop around your second toe and measure and see exactly where you want it to be. Don't make this too tight. Give it a little slack, not a lot, because otherwise it'll be all over the place. But do not make this cord too tight. Give yourself a little slack, because you don't want this thing pulling on your foot like that, your toe. That'll hurt so bad after like an hour or two. So give it a little slack. Measure where this point is. You can use a, a marker or just hold it, take it off, and measure Okay, so my measurement was three inches from this bead and to the back of my ankle. So here I am, three inches. I'm going to hold, keep that marking. Get you another crimp bead. Guess I'll use this one, this fat one this time. Also, guys, you can go all the way around. You can take the beads all the way around if you want. And it'll just be like a anklet as well. That's another option. I don't like that particularly because the beads, these beads can hurt around the back of your ankle. So I like this better. It's more comfortable for me. But, you know, your preference is what it is. Okay, so that's three inches roughly. Take your... I'll use the pliers. I just do whatever. It's cool. It's not the end of the world. And squeeze that off. And then 
take your scissors and cut off the excess. And there you go, guys. That is your barefoot sandal. I'll put a couple of pictures or videos at the end of this video so you can see different variations and styles that you can use. Okay, guys, that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make a thousand of these. They are so easy and fun to wear. Very sexy. I just love these. And make sure to subscribe. I will be putting up more tutorials and other things. I recently quit my job, so I will be going through life and just figuring things out and working my business. So stay tuned, guys.